Ranch is a dipping sauce worthy of your wings. A dressing fit to drown your kale. A flavor so essential to American culture, it's sometimes just referred to as cool American overseas. Over the past half century, ranch has become a billion dollar industry, the most popular salad dressing in the US and an endless fountain of increasingly absurd memes. This is how an Alaskan plumber and a literal ranch helped bring the dressing to fruition and how the internet helped turn it into a glorious earth speckled symbol of American food excess. 1949, Steve Henson, a plumbing contractor from the small town of Thayer, Nebraska, moves to a remote region of Alaska with his wife, Gail, for a new high paying gig. To keep his crew happy, remember they are in remote Alaska. Steve occasionally cooks large family style meals. While working with limited, mostly dried, non-perishable ingredients, he develops a new salad dressing mix featuring buttermilk, herbs like thyme, dill, and a ton of onion and garlic powder. This improvised Alaskan medley was the very first iteration of ranch dressing, but Let's pause real quick. While this is the advent of ranch as we know it, we can't pretend like Steve just got the idea out of thin, freezing Alaskan air. Cowboys in the American Southwest had been adding creamy buttermilk-based dressing to their meals since the mid-1930s, which is a clear influence on Henson's creation. Yeehaw! Back to the timeline. By 1954, Steve and Gail found so much success in the North, they were able to functionally retire at the tender age of 35. They moved to California and bought a rundown property called Sweetwater Ranch in the San Marcos Pass. And they renamed it Hidden Valley Ranch. Mm-hmm, yep. The Hensons opened up Hidden Valley to guests, complete with a steakhouse where they put Steve's old ranch recipe on basically everything. The ranch became increasingly popular thanks in large part to Steve's ranch sauce, which patrons would take home by the jarful as souvenirs. The Hensons start making dry package kits so people can make his dressing at home, selling it at local stores and mailing it around the country. Over the next two decades, the success of ranch overtakes the success of the actual ranch, and the Hensons turn their attention to producing ranch packets full time. By the 1970s, the Hensons re-retire and sell off both Hidden Valley, the literal ranch, and Hidden Valley Ranch, the dressing, to the Clorox company, who began mass producing bottles of Hidden Valley, lining supermarket shelves, Midwestern buffets, and the stomachs of millions of celery dipping Americans. 1986, Cool Ranch Doritos are released, and this acts like a gateway drug for consumers. People start imagining ranch as a flavor and not just a salad dressing. By the 1990s, big ass pizza chains like Domino's and Pizza Hut add buffalo wings to their menus, complete with a side of ranch for dipping. And they soon realize what small ass pizza shops around the country have been noticing. People are dipping their pizza into ranch now. Naturally, pizza purists are aghast at this apparent affront to the sanctity of time-honored pizza tradition. Our official opinion on this? Who the f cares? Put whatever you want on your pizza. Anyway, a generation of 90s kids grew up with ranch sitting on their table and deeply embedded in their hearts. Which is important because... By the 2000s, we are in the age of the internet. As ranch-loving kids become ranch-loving adults, the dressing becomes a Halloween costume. We witness the carbonated horrors of a ranch-flavored soda, and the copious, caloric ranch memes start flowing harder than the ranch dressing fountain Hidden Valley starts selling for a cool $250. At this point, nearly every condiment brand tosses their cowboy hats into the ranch game, and Hidden Valley releases over 70 ranch remixes, like cucumber ranch, bacon ranch and even vegan ranch which kind of sounds like an oxymoron anyway the condiment sometimes called hillbilly ketchup starts making its way into fine dining much to the dismay of some writers one of whom actually claims that ranch is what's wrong with america while npr admits america is floating in a pool of ranch uh metaphorically of course though that would be awesome 
And while Katy Perry has ranch on her rider and Sweetie went viral for putting a buttload of ranch on her spaghetti, comedian Eric Andre is the undisputed king of the creamy condiment, thanks in large part to his classic legalized ranch skit and his short-lived ranch dispensary. But Thrillist isn't immune to ranch mania either, as one of our more misguided staffers tries eating ranch on basically every food we could think of. And there's even an entire restaurant in St. Louis dedicated solely to ranch-based dishes. So now, as we bask at the end of your meteoric rise, we must salute you, ranch dressing. You might just be tangy buttermilk flecked with some dry herbs, but damn it, if you don't make me get a little misty-eyed about the pizza parties of my youth, and hopefully the ranch fountains that await me in my future. Because I am definitely going to have one of those at my wedding. Book it! Hey y'all, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and comment on what you want us to cover next. We might not actually do it, but we'll definitely read the comment. Thanks!